The results are in from our annual health checkup, and there's some good news. The CDC said today we're living longer. Since 1990, average life expectancy in this country has increased more than two years. Even so, some are questioning whether we're taking too much medicine and having too many tests for our own good. Dr. John LaPook has tonight's Eye on Your Health. Americans are taking more pills. Well, it's keeping me alive. Having more procedures. You know, a lot of people have had lots of things replaced. Shoulder, knee, hip. And getting more scans. My cardiologist recommended that I do the CT scan. Than ever before. But is more health care making us healthier? More is not always better. Um, these technologies offer benefit, but too much of them can certainly lead to harm. Dr. Elliot Fisher is referring to the use of CAT scans, PET scans, and MRI, imaging tests that more than tripled in 10 years. The benefit? Earlier diagnoses. The problem? An estimated 35% of scans are unnecessary, often leading to radiation exposure and more tests. If I were a patient, I'd ask two questions. Help me understand the risks and benefits of these procedures, and by the way, doctor, do you have a financial interest in ordering this particular test? Prescription drug use has also exploded. The percentage of people taking three or more medications has almost doubled, and that has benefits and risks. For example, while the number of adults taking cholesterol-lowering statins has jumped tenfold, a benefit may be the death rate from heart disease has plunged. But experts warn popping pills can't replace healthy habits. It's easy and attractive to take a pill. Often they make a big difference, but they're never enough. We have to learn how to be more physically active. We have to learn how to eat less and eat more healthy food. Now that Americans are living into their late 70s, more are replacing worn out parts. In the last 10 years, the number of people receiving a knee replacement increased 70 percent. Like experts say that procedures like knee and hip replacements are overdone. It's clear that technology has its benefits, but it's also clear that throwing money at pills and procedures can't buy good health. Our data would suggest that we're not getting our money's worth. To help patients get their money's worth, doctors need to clearly explain the pros and the cons of everything they suggest. And that includes helping you understand that sometimes the best option is doing nothing at all. Katie? Instead of overkill. John LaFouche. John, thanks so much.